again. I'm your host, Melanie Bonita, also known as a Daily Dose Coach, coming to you for another webisode of Freedom Friday. I'm super excited about today's Freedom Friday. Today's Freedom Friday is about being financially free. I'm going to give you three key steps that will help you be financially free. And I know I'm not the only one excited about it. I know you're excited about it too. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do in order to help you be financially free is developing discipline. Hmm. I know you didn't want to hear that one. A lot of people want to hear about the great things, but they don't want to hear about the things that they need to do in their lives to make a change and go to the next dimension. And developing discipline is key. You want to develop discipline in your shopping, your spending habits. You even want to develop discipline in knowing how to pay your bills on time. Yes, I said it, paying your bills on time is a part of dis developing discipline to help you be financially free. And I'm excited about it and sharing it with you because I really want you to be financially free. So ladies, sometimes you may have to not buy that jewelry. Oh yes, you may have to to not get those shoes that you wanted to get, but I'm telling you, it will pay off in the long run. Number two, you want to creative, creatively create multiple streams of income. Absolutely. You never want to have one stream of income. You never want to put all of your eggs in one basket. So I'm here to tell you there's several ways to create that income. There may be something that God has birthed in you. It may be something that you're already passionate about or something that you're already doing for free. Let's change that from doing it from free to charging a fee and I'm telling you there's some hobbies there is something that you can do to develop another stream of income and then it'll help you create another and another and another you want to have multiple streams of income and I'm telling you in God's word he says he will give you those witty ideas and inventions to have them but I want to tell you because if something happened to that one income that you have then you're out of the game. That's why you need to have multiple streams of income. I want to share one other thing because there was a season in my life and I was in a tremendous car accident and I only had that one stream. Not only that, I was laid off three times within a three year period and that showed me after the first layoff that I always need to have more than one stream of income. The third thing, last but most certainly not least, you want to do to help be financially free is you have to trust God and his word and what it says about your finances. There's promise after promise after promise in his word with what he says about you and your finances. He said he wants to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't even have room enough to receive. Yes, I said it. The blessings, he wants to overtake you with them. And so I'm telling you, get in God's word and know what his word says about your finances. But don't just know, trust them and have faith and believe and act on the promises of God. I'm telling you, he says in Deuteronomy 8 and 18 that he will give you the power to get wealth. But you have to use that power and you have to use that ability to get the wealth that he wants to give you. And I'm telling you again, there's word after word about how he wants you to have the abundant life, how he wants to make you rich, how he wants to bless you in your finances. So I encourage you to get in God's word today and know without a shadow of a doubt what he says about you and your finances. So we're going to recap. The first thing you want to do to be financially free is you want to develop discipline. The second thing is create, creatively create multiple streams of income. And the third thing is trust God and your finances and make sure you give him what is due. Yes, he wants you to tie 10% and not only that, the rest, the 90%, so go above and beyond and so because you reap what you sow. And in Deuteronomy 1 and 11, it also says that you will sow a thousandfold. Glory to God. I'm excited about that piece. A thousandfold. And in another scripture, it says that you can sow in the same year. You can reap that harvest the same year that you sow. So again, I'm excited about it. 
I'm your host, Melanie Bonita, signing off, encouraging you to be financially free. See you next Friday. Viva Lash!